Windows D, that shit. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. It has been like a solid week since I started this video. Um, and here I am filming it. <sighs> Honestly, like, this moss pole has just been in my <laughs> in my way for a week now. My poor Monstera has gained some strength, but I've literally just had it propped up against the other Monstera. Um, they've been hanging out for the week. Um, it's not happy with me. I'm not happy with me, okay? No. So um, let's finish this up. This moss pole has dried up so so much and this is this is a great test here um, or lesson rather uh, what's gonna happen here when your moss pole dries up is it's off the windy outside what's gonna be so important when you're wrapping this with a fishing line is that you pull it super super tight or taut whoever you are and that tightness is going to help you out when the moss pole dries out because when it shrinks back down to its size you don't want the fishing line that has been loosely bound around the wet segment moss to now not be of any support to the dry moss and have the moss slip down or out or whatever gosh it's so windy outside but i don't even want to show you i'm just going to tell you about it and you're just going to have to believe me all right, man, this shirt is a good material. It has done a fairly good job. To all my glasses people out there, you know what I'm talking about. Some shirts just make a bigger mess, <laughs> so anyway. Okay, so what we're going to have to do right now is rehydrate this and I'm going to just be cautious, conscious about the water that I use and I'm going to use filtered water because my aerial roots of whatever aeroid I'm putting up against this is going to be hugging onto that and taking the water into the root system and I don't want it to be tap water. So, um, I have <clears throat> my bowl of dried sphagnum moss here and I'm just gonna use that as a catch pot for me for right now. So, I'll just catch the I just put a humidifier right back here and I'm digging it. You know who's loving it even more though? These plants right here, just so much. So, um, yeah, more on that later, just not now. Anyway, I'm knocking things over. If any of you keen eyes have noticed, I have also rearranged some things, certainly behind me, but definitely in front of me as well. So that's exciting for me. Now you're going to want to relax your shoulders because this is not as stressful as my body language is making it out to be. So you're going to want to do this fairly slowly so you're just not wasting the water and, uh, and that way the sphagnum moss can absorb what you're giving it. Literally transferring weight from one arm to the other arm. Fun exercise. You want to try it. All right, so that is rehydrating. Now, I'm just gonna stick this with my big monster for a second while I get into the dry sphagnum moss here and rehydrate it. I think my sun colored on my floor. I just noticed a little something something. Now, the sphagnum moss that I had purchased actually came in layers. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in when I'm doing editing here. But um, so I tried to maintain the, the uh, layer structure here when I took it out of the bag because I'm going to try and use that to my advantage when I'm wrapping it around the moss pole. Sphagnum moss can retain a lot of its water. Like, there's, there's a science behind this. I'll put the info up right here, how much sphagnum moss can retain, like how much water it can retain compared to its weight 
y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? I'm not like any sort of scientist or, or anything for that matter. I am a stay-at-home mom who likes to plant things. That's it. So, how are you guys doing? What's new? Do you have any new plants? What's on your plant wish list? What else do I want to know about you? Are you in Niagara? Should we do a plant trade? Should you follow me on Instagram? Should I follow you on Instagram? What do you have to offer? I'd love to know. Alrighty, I think we're going to be ready for this one. This one is not smoky. You're not smoky, you're misty. Nice to meet you, Misty. I'm Julia. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Alright, let's do this. So I just squeeze my moss out a little bit before applying it to the pool. And keeping it in these longer patches has really The most frustrating part of any project is getting the hang of something. No one's ever going to be perfect at something when they first start, but a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience will go a very long way. And I assure you, you will likely be proud of yourself for learning a new task, for completing something, and then do. You get bragging rights. Where'd you get that cute moss pole? Son, I made it myself. So that's just that. Now, whoop, not that way. We'll figure this out, guys, together. And don't forget to cut the circulation off in your fingers while you are pulling this tight, much like flossing. I got a good floss grip going on in the in the right hand here. Yeah, that's gonna work for me. And I'm gonna tell you that this sphagnum moss is semi-hydrated here. When I pick it up and I squeeze it, I'm not losing much water. So that is a pretty good medium to work with. Phonics. And what's the deal? Holy cow. That was a situation. So this is because there's espresso in that drink, so don't mind me, I'm just getting it out, okay? <laughs> Rather than wringing out the moss prior to putting it on the pole, wring it out on the pole, and that is going to um, help you mold it to where you want it. This is not a clean project, guys. It's not something that you can just do and walk away from. My crotch just got wet. I'm dirty now. The last time I did this, I had taken a shower right before. Or is that right? Oh no, that was when I made soil, I think. Yeah, I mean, like, whatever. Yeah. Almost there. Stay away from my toes and my belly button. Like, those are just... <sighs> it's 
me out there. Okay. Guys, we're almost done. I'm just looking at this pathetic monster. Like, see my toe? No, you can't see it. I'm gonna lift up that monster leaf with my toe because that's where it is, on the floor, under my foot. That's grossing me out, the fact that I'm using my foot as a pointing mechanism. It's a pointing device. It's under there, and that wind is still happening. By the way, grande no whip mocha frappuccino with a shot of espresso. It's freaking heaven. And you know what else is great? The new sippy cup lids because plastic sucks. I mean, straws specifically. Plastic straws suck. Ew, if you guys can only see what my foot over here is doing, it's like, I'm going to show you. I hate me. It's like, <laughs> I'm so concentrated on this that like I have my foot all like, twisted up and crooked and weird looking. It looked even worse when I showed the camera. <sighs> yeah, I do funny things when I'm concentrating. <laughs> do you guys? Or is it just me? The wind though, why am I still on it though? Why am I still talking about this? So the corner of this treasure chest has like been gnawing at the sphagnum. Why haven't you told me? This whole time it's been doing that, like what the hell? It works. That's how I cut things. If you saw what I did, do that. But otherwise, I don't know how to articulate it. So we're just gonna tug on it a little harder. I'm just gonna do one more thing. We're just gonna give her a snip roo ski right about here ski. Sounds good to me ski. Next time on how to make a moss pole. It's like two, two months later. I'm gonna make a moss pole. I'm gonna get drunk. It's what's gonna happen here. I think I just wanted someone to hang out with right now. That's why I'm just on the YouTube right now. Ooh, cheers.